it really took more faith than I even thought I had. People who are religious think their religion is right and everybody else is wrong. Today I have completed your religion for you and I've perfected my favor on you and I am satisfied with Islam as a religion for you. But at the same time, he managed to keep his relationship with God closer than ever. Like imagine a cat who's got his claws on you, whatever he can take. Check out our sponsors, Nature's Blends. They specialize in premium Ethiopian black seed products. The website is in the description link below. You can also use the discount code SALAM10 for 10% of their products. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well. Before I start, I want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, the most just, all praises, glory, and, gra oops, and gratitude belongs to him. Alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Now, as you guys know with the reaction videos, we try to bring you current affairs and try to learn things out of it and how do we, and try to connect them to the Quran and the Sunnah and see what benefits we can get and what lessons we can learn from whatever it may be, alhamdulillah. Now, in this video, um, I saw it from the Dean Show, alhamdulillah. And I thought Dean Show's covered it. That's good. That's brilliant. He's covered it. I'm sure he came with some good beneficial reminder. Um, and I thought maybe, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I, I, I thought I'd come from a different angle in the context of uh, when I watched Nas Daily, I didn't know Nas Daily actually did the actual filming, yeah? So he's done the filming. And as you know, we've done videos for Nas Daily before as well, uh, giving like a bit of a nasiya, etc. Um, and in this one, I found it very interesting. So what we're going to do, guys, is because I found it interesting because Steve Harvey, you know, I, I know of him. I watch some of his stuff. And he does seem him a man of principles. He does seem a man where he has a lot of Islamic values. You know, you know, more, more, I'll say conservative, but you can see, you know, there was a video that I was watching of him, of some girl saying you know what men, some guys are scared of my dad no no guys want to date me and he was like good that's how it should be it shows you that these guys are not, uh, not, uh, for not uh, they're not good for you so uh, alhamdulillah i see these little traits in him let's get straight into the video i don't want to long this video out and there's a few lessons i want to learn because there's something that was said there which i found a little bit troubling but in all the video is brilliant and we ask allah to guide steve harvey let's go and show so this is as you can see on the screen him and his wife and at first i saw that i was like yo Steve Harvey a Muslim, you know, like, you know, you hear all these rappers are Muslims. But anyway, let's carry on. Here we go. Bismillah. Today, I want to tell you about a guy. You may know him for his comedy. You may know him for his mustache. But today, I want you to know him for his religion. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. Stand-up comedian, entertainer, television host, family man. But most importantly, I happen to be a man of faith. Steve is a very successful guy. He has made more money than he ever thought. He has become than he ever thought. But at the same time, he managed to keep his relationship with God closer than ever. Why did you not lose faith as you became more successful? If I could make myself successful, I would have done it a long time ago. I would have skipped so many of the lessons I had to learn. But it's not that, it's a process. Success and happiness is a process, man. And in this process, I was very aware of the amount of faith that was needed. And as a matter of fact, it really took more faith than I even thought I had. See, oftentimes, people who are religious think their religion is right and everybody else is wrong. There is only one way to God. But Steve's faith is unique because it's really not about that. There's no one, one way to heaven, no one way to paradise. It's like television. Now it's over 800 channels of cable and they're all pretty entertaining. So I'm pretty sure, man, that to get to heaven, there's got to be more than one route. And because somebody watching another channel or taking another channel than you, they still get entertained and they probably still get heaven. This isn't just talk. Steve lives by these words. He has three sons. Two of them, he gave them Christian names like Broderick, and one of them, he gave a Muslim name, Ali, as a sign of respect and appreciation for the Muslim religion and the Muslim culture. I named him Ali because I knew, I knew then that he I, might be different. I knew. And you have no problems with it. Because when you come here, you understand Islam is a religion of peace. Why you got a problem with peace? What Steve did reminds me a lot of this mosque. This mosque in Abu Dhabi belongs to people in the Islamic faith. But as a sign of tolerance to the churches next to them, they renamed the mosque to Mary, Mother of Jesus Mosque. Can you imagine a mosque with the name Jesus on it? Yeah, the world could use a little bit more of that. A whole lot more sense. So guys, as, as you can see, uh, Alhamdulillah, beautiful video. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a beautiful video in the context, Alhamdulillah. You can see that he's open, he's respectful. Um, and subhanAllah, like the, these are the people like subhanAllah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells in Surah Mumtaina verse 8. Allah does not forbid you from being just and kind to those who do not fight you. Account of your, on your faith because of your faith because you're, you're a Muslim and don't kick you out of your houses. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it very clear. And this verse, this verse is not abrogated. Yeah? This verse is clearly telling you that you should be kind and just to the non-Muslims. So for example, um, uh, when, when he's talking about tolerance and stuff like that, it's all good. And alhamdulillah, for them to wear the, his wife to wear the hijab and for him to, you know, wear the, what is the Islamic garment? You know, it's more like, the, you know, the, the, the garment of the culture there. It, it, it's, it's heartwarming. It's, it's good. It's good to know. And the Prophet his, his closest uncle was a non-Muslim. You know, and he had uh, uh, people, like for example, non-Muslims, subhanAllah, who's worked in Islamic uh, empires before, uh, uh, had high positions in the Islamic empire. So this myth should be debunked. However, there is something here which I want to touch on, and Nas Daily has mentioned this before. And we need to make something really clear, brothers and sisters, yeah? And alhamdulillah, sometimes what happens is, when we see these things happening, uh, what happens is, brothers and sisters, we get into this whole, the um, how can I explain, the whole lovey-dovey thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, look, you know, we all hold hands and... Yeah. Look, just because we Islam has tolerance towards other religions, yeah, you are not allowed to force your religion. In Surah Baqarah verse 256, it says that there is no compulsion religion. Truth is clear from falsehood. So we need to understand that there is no compulsion religion. When the Islamic empire was expanding, they were not allowed to force their religion. Yes, they would expand, the empire's expanding, and there were Christians and Jews and uh, certain people living under their <coughs> banner. However, the force of religion was haram. It's not allowed. There is no compulsion in religion. And you can live in peace. Where the Prophet, peace be upon him, lived with the Christians and the Jews in Medina, and they were, even though some of them were hostile towards him, he lived in harmony. Now, to live in harmony and to say that there is harmony, one uh, in harmony uh, to the truth, that is not correct. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Aida, verse 3, Today I have completed your religion for you, and I have perfected my favor on you, and I am satisfied with Islam as a religion for you. So it's very clear for us to say that there is one way, and this whole notion is nothing but devil's deception. If you can see the book here, it is nothing... But there was deception. Let me tell you why. Problem is very important. You should get this book as well. It's very important. You know why? Because the shaitan comes to you in a variety of ways. Yeah? He's going to come and try to hit you with shirk. Associate partner Allah. You can't do that. Innovation. If not innovation in the religion, major sins. Not major sins is going to come to you with minor sins. Not minor sins is going to come to you with what? It's going to occupy you with things that are halal. Playing all day. You know, playing stuff all day. But you could be doing something better. You can be reading the Quran. Yeah? Or you can do both. But, you know, excessive uh, thing. Uh, or doing, occupying you with the lesser of two goods. You want to go and give in charity, he stops you and says, you know, why don't you read the Quran maybe? I don't know, I'm just giving an argument sake, yeah? Because the other one's reward may be greater, or vice versa. <clears throat> Shaitan's ultimate goal is what? He is destined to hell. He wants to, imagine guys, if you are destined to hell, yeah, and, and, and Allah gave him the choice, by the way, he did it himself, yeah? You are going to want to take, at least wants to take anybody there with him, bro. He doesn't care. He's like someone, like imagine a cat. He's got his claws on you. Whatever he can take, brother, little, I don't care. Whatever, as he's going, he wants to take whatever from you. This is his main objective and goal. And that's what Allah says, shaitan is an enemy and take him as an enemy. Brothers and sisters, how many of us have enemies we don't like him? We're very apprehensive, you know, he might come and do this or man. What about shaitan? You let go of him. And this is the reason why, brothers and sisters, what Nas Daily is saying here, and brother Steve Harvey, with all like, due respect, I genuinely respect him as a man, genuinely someone that I'm like, wow, I like his principles and what he lives by, yeah? Even calling his name, uh, his son's name Ali, etc. And it, it's beautiful. But there's a reality that we need to be uh, aware of. I can come to, and make this video um, and be like, you know what, it's all hunky-dory, yes, woo, yes, hold hands. There's multiple ways. There is no multiple, multiple ways to heaven. There isn't. Now, but let me make something clear. Islam is the only religion. If Steve Harvey happens to watch this video, Islam is the only religion that says, Allah does not punish a nation until he sends a messenger. Islam is the only religion that says if somebody hasn't heard the message of Islam, they are not accountable and they will be judged on the day of judgment with a special test. Because Allah, Allah has negated, when you study his asma wa safat, his names and attributes, he negated oppression to himself. He will never oppress anyone. You have uh, this predestiny and free will. So let's make that very clear. However, if somebody hasn't heard the message of Islam at all, at all, and he dies in that state, of course there's a chance. So as Muslims, there is a chance, listen carefully, a Christian, a pagan, an atheist, a, 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 a Buddhist, a, a, a Christian or a Jew, a potential of entering paradise. Yes, but as long as they did not hear the message of Islam, but if they heard the message of Islam and they know it to be true and they say, uh, no, but you know, it, that's a different story now because now that is kufr. 
in the context of you know it's the truth but you're covering you're like no 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 so guys this is what we're trying to say inshallah and i hope that has benefited you because when i saw his video i said i need to touch up on this we asked allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guy steve harvey he would be an amazing example as a muslim because he has those principles and i don't know if it was abu Bakr who said that but he said those who uh, subhanallah uh, had certain traits in uh, kufr in disbelief when they come to Islam it beautifies yeah, it be, you can see that it, it will, they'll become so much more amazing so I just wanted to share that with the video, uh, video with you guys hope you guys benefited and brothers and sisters please do not be deceived by the shaitan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he's made the religion clear Islam is the truth and Islam has been there from day one so let's not water it down and make it seem like yeah we all hold hands this is nothing but a deception you know if if Nas daily um, you know, God forbid, if, if he dies in how in a state and he, he is in front of God and Allah asks him, why don't you follow Islam? He can't say, oh no, no, I thought there's different ways. SubhanAllah, do, do we take like, okay, next day, Allah might ask him, on what basis did you, did you say that? On what, what basis? And one of the biggest sins is talk about Allah that he is not affirmed. He has not said for himself. Just as they say Jesus is God. He's the son of God. So let's be careful, inshallah, and hope this benefit is a reminder. Some of you guys might wish to be like, oh, you ruined the whole video. I'm so sorry. I have to be real. You want me to be fake? Mm, I'm sorry. I can't. You know, we have to be uh, just. And that is what I wanted to do. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide Steve Harvey and his wife and his children, inshallah. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.